here to take on uh, Candy versus Sia. Havelock's going down to Candy and Police going down to Sia in the semi-final. And both these teams uh, will now walk one. Yes, well, it's very much uh, a contest between the experienced Candy outfit and uh, the youthful exuberance of uh, CR and FC as we have a look at uh, both lineups, Candy Sports Club, led by uh, Nigel Ratwata, Jason Disanaika, Danush Dayan, Roshan Viratna, Diluksha Dange, a former Trintian. Great to see Asrinath Surya Bandara back in the fold. Heshan Jansen, Tilna Vijay Singer, Danushka Ranjan, Anuruddha Wilvara, Kavindu Pereira, and uh, Lavanga Pereira. Hardly any holes in that uh, candy lineup, is there, you know? Yeah, no chance, isn't it? Uh, you, you have uh, Kavindu Pereira just crossed over. He'll be up against uh, CR and FC for the first time. There'll be few banters going on there. Anuruddha Wilvara comes back. Danushka Ranjan, strong midfield. Heshan Jansen, the young King Swedian coming in. So there is a good mix of youth and experience in that lineup. Then we have CR and FC. Riza Rafaidin, uh, the captain. Shehan Daez, Wajid Faumi, Chamod Fernando, Janindu Dilshan, the Royalist, who uh, finished last season and uh, has come back in. Rahul De Silva has uh, plenty of experience along with Chanaka Chandimal. I think he had a decent semi final also. Gamunu Cheti, another youngster, Sri Lanka under 20 cap. Nalin Kumara with experience along with Randita Varnapura and uh, Nilupul Devinda. So, again, Good, good lineup, isn't it, uh, Abdella? Good mix, but they will will want uh, they will want to have few of those X factor players that Candy has. Yes, I'm sure they would, and I think uh, from CR and FC's point of view, position is going to be the key. They've got whenever they do have position, they've got to make it count because if they turn position over, then uh, this, there are so many X factor players in that uh, Candy outfit that uh, are going to make you pay. So tactically, CR and FC will have to be on top of their game. Uh, they'll have to make the correct options, uh, reduce their le the level of errors, and uh, if they can do that, then uh, no doubt that they can give this candy outfit a good run for their money. A decent crowd uh, here at uh, Racecourse. A lot of people have traveled down from Candy. Uh, it has been a, it's going to be a, a new season for them this year under a new captain of uh, Nigel Ratwate. They miss uh, Richard Dhammapala in that lineup. Uh, not sure why. What uh, why he has missed the cut to the sevens. Maybe they have other plans to keep him for the 15th game. And a lot of youngsters after the conclusion of the school season uh, yesterday, Abdullah, they've uh, come to watch here and what a school season that was and how much of uh, a flow that Sri Lanka has blessed with. Here he is, Reza Rafaidin on your right, Nigel Ratwat on your left, both Sri Lanka caps, both coming from Candy, but one will lead Colombo today. And both teams walking out for the finals of the Interclub Rugby Sevens. And coaches Fazil Marija along with Jeffrey Mustak on your left and right. It's going to be one cracking encounter today with both teams who will line up before we kick off for the introductory of both teams. As uh, it's just now minutes close to what's going to be an epic final can tell you that because both teams teams have worked their way through after semi-final of course candy had an easy run against havelocks here's that crnfc team Riza rafaidin tisila devinda kevin dixon vishwarana raja nalin kumara janindu dilshan gamunu chetia rahul de silva and chanaka chandimal along with coach mushtak as a classic lineup a lot of youth in that. And then we have uh, a decent crowd also here at the race course. And here's the candy team. Nigel Ratwata, Jason Disanaika, Kamindu Pereira, Danusha Dayan, Danushka Ranjan, Srinath Surya Bandar, Anuruddha Vilwara. Look at that, those two pairing there. Chaturanga, Tarindu Chaturanga, Lavanga and Oshan Pereira, along with Tilna Vijay Singh and Roshan Viraratna. And then the Sri Lanka legend now has uh, worn the coaching hat on Fazil Marija. Cracking lineup, isn't it? Yes, just looking at those two lineups uh, from those visuals, uh, they look it's so obvious uh, the difference between those two teams, isn't it? One is vastly experienced, uh, knows their games inside out. The other uh, 
lineup, uh, relatively young but exciting talent. So all in all, I think it's going to be a, a really exciting game. But just these players who have been exposed to these finals again and again, I think that's going to make a big difference uh, in this final. As uh, both teams being introduced uh, to the dignitaries, you see uh, Nazim Mohammed, the vice president of, or rather, secretary of uh, Sri Lanka Rugby, and also sponsors Dialogue Asiata, Dialogue 4G, and the sponsors uh, for the club rugby 2019, kicking off with the seventh tournament. And uh, a new hat on for Nigel Rathwat, the first time leading a team in Sri Lanka. This is going to be an interesting challenge for Nigel as well, taking on the reins of captaincy this year. Had an outstanding season last year as well, was an integral part of uh, Candy Sports Club winning that league title. Moved to that fly half position, which was vacated by uh, Fazil, his current coach, uh, uh, the, the year before. But I thought he managed to uh, fill that void relatively well. Uh, the referee for today's game, uh, Akhil Jamaldin, young upcoming referee, has done relatively well uh, in the ongoing school season as well. Had a decent club sevens also has been uh, awarded uh, a final opportunity because of his performance ahead of uh, the overseas uh, referee. Had a decent semi-final as well. The CRNFC coaching setup. Here we go, kickoff of the 2019 Club Rugby So Sevens. And straight away goes to Nigel Ratwatta. And he breaks a couple of tackles, steps off a couple, comes down to uh, Danush Karanjan. Now Danush Dayan looking uh, to flirt with the touchline is uh, Jason Disanayaka and pick and run by Lavanga Pereira, going into contact inside the 22. CRNFC straight away put into back foot and a penalty comes up as well. Srinath Surya Bandara spinning this out wide to Nigel Ratwate. Here's Ranjan. Ranjan steps off one, steps off another, goes into contact. This is Srinath Surya Bandara now, bringing it back into Danushka Ranjan. Here's uh, Jason Disanayaka going into contact. Surya Bandara, Ratwate. To Ranjan, has Pereira on the outside, coming to Pereira, will run around his former team for the first touch and the coaching staff is happy. Yes, well, we spoke about the importance of CRNFC trying to retain position as much as possible. That was a surprisingly poor kickoff by Kevin Dixon. He needed to give the ball a bit more air and give his uh, chases an opportunity to contest. But he decided to go flat, went straight into Nigel Ratwata's hand. And from that point of view, there was no stopping that candy outfit. Uh, they recycled position, did maintain their composure. And uh, Kavindu Pereira, uh, he, at the very inception, being able to put one over his uh, teammates of last year, whom he actually led. So Srinath Suryabandara with the conversion. Strikes it well, and it's over. So what a start for Candy Sports Club. They're up seven points to nil. And we're just about... Uh, one and a half minutes into this uh, first half. As we have a look at that replay once again, we kind of recycled the ball extremely well and just spread it and they had numbers out wide and uh, CR defense was just not good enough to uh, move across to prevent that try. CR have made a change in the team card. Uh, Tisila Karna Tilaka comes in for Chamod Fernando. Here's Ranjan now once again. An opportunity for Candy Sports Club. Does he have the burners to go around? Gamunu Chetia. No, Chetia brings him down, trying to contest the, for the ball here. Now the ball is spun out wide once again through Pereira to Ratwatta. Here's Danusha Dayan. Danusha Dayan steps off on looking for that miracle offload, but knocks the ball forward. Sia trying to play from their in goal, but it'll be a knock on scrum for CR and FC. You know, that was a wonderful example of how to execute a kickoff in Servants Rugby. A lot of air gave the chases an opportunity to turn position over, and that is just the experience, isn't it, uh, Dinok, of playing in these big games. Candy possess a lot of experience in their lineup, and they know how to execute under pressure. So, CR and FC will need to. Uh, 
be a bit more uh, tactically savvy on how they go about it. That was a very aggressive scrum by Candy Sports Club. Fortunately, from CR's point of view, uh, Candy just knocked the ball on. So they need to keep this in mind uh, when they go into these contact situations. They need a quick strike. And Kevin will need to get the ball out as far as quickly as possible. But on that occasion, and deemed to have uh, driven early. Here's Chandima. Lob to Riza Rafaidin. Looking to run around. Has Chetia on the outside. Chetia pushed out by his former skipper. Kavindu Pereira. Anxious looking. See our bench. Yes, again, uh, the experience factor. Kavindu letting uh, Chetia run on his outside, knowing the touchline was there as well. And uh, Chetia just showing a little bit of his inexperience. Uh, managing uh, to be bundled out into touch. Here's a penalty for Candy Sports Club now taken by Jason Visanayaka. Off to Ratwate. Here's Pereira. Lavanga Pereira cutting back one steps off, couple of puts, puts the accelerator on, and he's touched down for the second try for Candy Sports Club. So Sia giving away a couple of uh, crucial penalties and position away. And Candy have pounced on every time, every opportunity they have got to score 12 points on the board. Yes, well, we spoke about the importance of uh, CR and FC making maximum opportunity whenever they do get uh, position. But so far, the execution has been quite poor and uh, they haven't been able to uh, make it count. So Surya Bandara surprisingly missing that uh, conversion. So Candy Sports Club uh, will continue to lead 12 points to nil. Bang, bang, event uh, Lavanga Pereira off his left foot and then uh, touchdown. Saw the small kid on screen, that's uh, Nigel's son. He's come to watch his father play. As Candy will kick off as it is in uh, sevens rugby, the team scores the try, gets to kick off as well. And Srinath Surya Bandara, good chase once again, knocked forward by Candy. Here's an opportunity now to Dixon. Dixon t getting a couple of meters for CRNFC. A penalty coming up and quickly taken by Janindu Dilshan. Given up out wide to Riza Rafaidi in Chanaka Chandimal. Flings out one very quickly. And this is uh, Gamunu Chetia to Chandimal again. Riza. Spreading the ball out wide. Is CRNFC to Randita Varnapura. And trying to step and run back inside. Wajid Faumi on the far side. Now it comes back to Janindu Dilshan. Off to Riza Rafaidin. Riza Rafaidin looking, to sp looking for space. Chanaka Chandimal trying to step off one. Steps off another. Needs to offload. Gives it outside to uh, Dilshan once again. And there is uh, Srinath Surya Bandara. Not releasing the tackler. Quickly taken by the skipper Riza Rafaidin. And he will score the comeback try for CRNFC on the stroke of half time. Yes, that's just what CR needed to do. They needed uh, whenever they have position to make it count. And on that occasion they did. They managed to so show some good composure. And it's a good time to have got that first score as well, just on the stroke of half time. So CRNFC reduced the deficit, 12 points to five, conversion to come. We're just a few seconds away from the half time hooter. Chandimal makes no mistake uh, with the conversion. So it's 12 points to seven. And uh, referee Akil Jamaldin has blown for half time. So CR striking back as we have a look at that uh, once again. Janindu taking the ball into contact. Candy player not uh, releasing the tackle that's deemed by Akhil Jamaldin and Rafaidin taking the quick tap and going over for CR's first try. So it's uh, 12 points to seven and uh, everything to play for in that second half. Yeah, that
सेवा Welcome back for the second half of uh, the club finals. This is how it all started. Candy using the width of the field and also pace on the outside to uh, Kavindu Pereira to score that first one. Then Lavanga came in. Look at those steps: one, two, and then he went, ran around uh, the sweeper. Kevin Dixon a bit too hard for him to do, and then CRNFC. came in and scored and will give a lot of confidence and also would have dented a bit of confidence in that candy cam but there is enough experience good show there by reza to run around uh, the post as well which uh, uh, stopped uh, danish karanjan going for a tackle into him yes that that try by uh, rafaid in uh, just on the stroke of half time i think has definitely opened this game up in the second half so uh, everything to play for i think uh, CRNFC would have been rejuvenated after those conceding those first two tries. So Surya Bandara to kick off this uh, second half. Good hanging kick gives a lot of air time for Danusha Dayan to tap it back, but plucked in the air by uh, Janin Dudilshan leaves the ball behind to uh, Lavanga Pereira, who sets it up beautifully. Comes out to uh, Srinath Surya Bandara now. Jason Disanayake looking for the switch and has the pace to run around. Wajid Faumi forward on forward but Jason is a bit too quick than his former teammate Yeah that's right that's just the start which uh, Candy would have wanted again it all started from that wonderful hanging kick by Srinath Surya Bandara such an important aspect of servants rugby the kick off and uh, so far whenever Candy have kicked off they managed to retain position or at least spoil whatever ball a uh, CNFC should get so Srinath with the conversion uh conversion is uh, not good uh, so Candy SC nonetheless will uh, extend that lead as we have a look at the replay once again Jason Disanayake just having too many too much wheels uh, on uh, Wajid Faumi and uh, just was over for that uh, Candy Star try It's not the start which CRNFC wanted. They would have loved to have got that first score in the second half, but uh, Candy once again just showing their class. 17 points to seven. Everything to play for in the next five minutes. Again, a lovely hanging kick yeah, yeah. off the chest, says uh, Akil Jamaldin. So the play will continue. Here is uh, a good tackle coming up on Kevin Dixon by Ratwate. quickly taken by Sia for the penalty now spreading it out wide he has Chanaka Chandimalov to Reza Rafaidin Rafaidin put in the face and has Gamunu Chethi on the outside but uh, couldn't get the pass away Mushtaq is furious as he knows because that was a clear overlap isn't it Abdella absolutely and with the speed that uh Chetia has uh, he would have backed himself to go over there but uh, again just excited really looking probably so excited in seeing that open field that he forgot to catch the ball is uh, explaining to Rafaid in exactly what has happened but uh, don't think that will do any good to CRNFC so once again uh, position turned over and these are the kind of errors isn't it that uh, you don't want to commit against an outfit like Candy Sports Club Rafai Dean doing absolutely the correct thing drawing uh, Surya Bandara who was the final man in that line and passing the ball but Chetia just took his eyes uh, away from everything and just knocked the ball on Tilna Vijay Singh comes in place of uh, Lavanga Pereira has his first touch of the game now he gives it out to Danish Karanjan here's Ranjan trying to step out and a lovely couple of switches between Kavindu Ranjan and Tilina now looking for options on the outside Gamunu uh, Chetia making that tackle ball comes back once again to Srinath Surya Bandara off to Nigel Ratwatta this is Danush Dayan on the far side cutting back in 
is uh, Jason Disanayaka passing the 10 meter mark, bringing Candy into the 50 meter mark. He has a lovely opportunity now if they can move the ball out wide. Here is uh, Tilna Vijay Singh has one inside, a lovely cut back in, but Riza Rafaidin was waiting for that, but bounces off one, bounces off another and steps over. Kevin Dixon is Danushka Ranjan. Now Nigel Ratwata will hold these balls for a couple of more seconds because he will have an overlap creator on the outside. But cutting back in is Jason Disanayaka. Now Ratwata off to Kavindu Pereira. Here's Tilina Vijay Singh to Srinath Surya Bandara. Stepping off one, stepping off another. Brought down to ground. Ranjan looking for options. Good tackle, good spot tackle by... Uh, Kevin Dixon, but uh, just shot up a bit too quickly, and there is no one in front of Kavindu Pereira who will touch down for his second try in the final of the Dialogue Interclub Rugby Sevens 2019. Well, that was vintage Sevens, if ever there was uh, a sequence of play. You know, just showed how well uh, Candy Sports Cup controlled position. Uh, they always uh, had someone tracking the ball carrier. They, the recycling was excellent. The passes were always in front of uh, the oncoming uh, player. And if you want to show a youngster the sequence of how to play servants rugby, I think that passage of play was just a wonderful example. So Candy Sports Club extending that lead, 24 points to seven. And with uh, just over two minutes to go, CR and FC have uh, their work cut out. Yeah, big mountain to climb. Yes, sir. Uh, Kevin uh, was not very happy with that call. He felt he was on side. Referee Ak Akil Jamal Din uh, decided otherwise. This time getting the restart right, Go but uh, good read there the by the CRNFC player. That was Janin Dudilshan, quickly taken by okay. Kevin Dixon. Throws it to no man land, but uh, will have advantage because Candy have not gone 10 meters back. Trying to draw and pass is. Rees are rafied in, but they're not going anywhere. It's a penalty again. Akil will uh, push Candy 10 meters back and look at the luxury of replacements Candy have. Roshan Viraratna and Anruddha Vilvara, both international caps to come off the bench. This is Chanaka Chandimal now tapping for CRNFC to Riza rafied in. Wajid Paumi. Going into contact on the far side is uh, Gamunu Chetia. Coming back to Faumi now. Dixon trying to step off one good tackle by Danush Dayan, his former Sri Lanka teammate. Penalty for holding on. And looks like it'll be a yellow. Yes, it is a yellow for Kevin Dixon for not releasing that ball. Again, just that experience to identify when to go and clear that ruck and execute that counter ruck just, showed the, just shows the class of this uh, candy outfit, isn't it? Uh, you know, CR and FC just thought they had something there, but they didn't have uh, enough players at the breakdown. Candy players were good enough to identify that, executed the counter ruck, forcing uh, Dixon to kill that ball and being penalized. So it just shows the gulf between both these teams in terms of execution and experience. And in the final analysis, I guess uh, the score line is a fair reflection of that. Yeah, 18 seconds to go on our clock. Srinath Surya Bandara throws this uh, into center field to Danushka Ranjan. Ranjan swinging it to the near side to Anruddha Vilvara, who burned one down in the semi final, trying to burn another, but brought down by Gamunu Chetia into touch. Takes the quick throw, gives it into Chanaka Chandimal now, trying to spread this wide and score. And Janindu Dilshan puts the foot on the metal. Dilshan has to beat Surya Bandara. It's a foot race now. Cuts back in Janindu Dilshan. That's pure class. <laughs> but it'll not do any good for CR and FC, but it'll do a lot of good to Sri Lanka. Yes, a good ending for CR and FC, and it's a wonderful ending for Janindu Dilshan as well. Was relatively quiet in this final, but eventually just shows his class with the very last move of that game and a consolation try for CRNFC. Uh, 24 points to 12. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, it was Candy Sports Club all the way dominating this final. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, whether they take the conversion. Yes, Sir Chandimal will take the conversion to just uh, narrow that lead. So it will put that uh, 
conversion over, so it's uh, 24 points uh, to 14. And we've been informed that we have to come up with a man of the match. Uh, Dinuk, I thought uh, today Jason Disanaik, I thought was very good today. His uh, work at the breakdown and also his uh, work at line-out time was uh, very good, not to mention uh, his uh, work rate at the kickoffs as well. So I think our man of the match today uh, will be Jason Disanaika for his performance.